tenacious demons. He's the reason, right there! Have my comb. That was the comb that Lofi gave me. Not you, we know me not. Uh, of course. I mean, know me not, now reborn. And you're the Lord of Calamity. Oh, Artorius. I'm hungry. My stomach is empty. My chest is empty. My body is empty, too. I'm... It hurts. It hurts so much. It looks like we won't be able to harvest despair by eating you anymore. Well then... Birds must fly because they possess strong wings. Mankind must be suppressed because it possesses great sin. Malevolence, tragedy, war, anger, tears, even love must all be suppressed. With the grace of my beating wings, I will grant humanity the tranquility it deserves. You know me not. Come, devour my despair. shall suppress all creation! Artorius was filled with this much despair? Was he holding it in check this whole time? One miss. Death. And he would have become a demon. Just the power of Artorius' determination. But also proof of his true nature. We can't lose to him now! We'll never lose to him now!
Settle this here and now, Lord of Calamity. It's what you told me once, long ago. On the day... of the opening... Velvet... The Arthur you knew... died that day. It was always there, in the back of my mind. 
If only it hadn't been Celica and my son who were killed that day. If only it had been you two instead. I thought the same thing so many times. If it had been us, then I know. I know you would have fought to save the world for us. over. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. No, it's not over yet. I'm hungry. Even though I was scared. Even though it hurt. I know. I drank that gross medicine. I stopped myself from doing what I wanted to do. Eating what I wanted to eat. I tried so hard. Why won't you give me this? I hate you! Luffy said, you tried really hard, but you don't have to fight anymore. It's time for us to rest, Luffy. Velvet will let Inomi not devour her forever. With her forever devouring him in return. She will seal him while keeping him alive. An infinite contradiction. A perpetual cycle of destruction. Velvet, you can't! You and I are part of Inomi not V. If he dies, both of us will die too. I dug my own grave. But... But you... Good. Then die. But only after eating, living, doing everything you want to in life. <laughs> I really am horrible, aren't I? Just a selfish failure of a human being. But despite all that, you still saved me. With your unwavering kindness and strength. I didn't do anything! Velvet, you were the one who... Fee, you must have seen it during our travels. Humans spend their lives in constant struggle. That's why they end up making so many mistakes. Even my poor brother. That's why I'm asking this of you. Please live. I was the cause of so much chaos and destruction. Help the world I ruined. Help people like me. Help the weak. This is my last selfish request. That's... that's not fair! I'm truly... sorry. Yeah. <laughs>
relax. These are the four elemental Empyreans. Now you show up. Pretty irresponsible if you ask me. You are mistaken. Without Innominat, the balance of our power will crumble. The elements will clash in violence and ruin. The world will take millennia to recover from the destruction. No! To save the world from destruction, a new Empyrean is needed. A Moloch of great strength and indomitable. I'll do it. I'll be your new Empyrean. Hold on a second, Lafisat. You can't just- Let's hear him out. You are part of Inominat. You're not lacking in strength. But the question here is one of your intent. Just what do you wish for this world? What will you bring unto its denizens? I want people to have another chance! A chance for them to right the wrongs born of their fallible spirits! To give those who dream of flying the time they need to rest their wings! So that in their strength, their weakness, their cruelty, their kindness, these imperfect humans will one day stretch their wings toward the horizon! Make your dream a reality, young Imperial. Off on him. Hasn't it, Luffy Set? Huh? Is that really Luffy Set? But how? That is his Empyrean form. It's also proof of his determination. Like an oath? Yes. Do I frighten you now, Eleanor? Not at all. You've matured into a fine man. So was that flame your true power as an Empyrean? Demons. Malevolence. Did that fire get rid of it all? No. I'm still very much a demon. The Silver Flame has the power to cleanse a soul of its malevolence and change a demon back into a human. But it doesn't have the power to change people's hearts. It just gives them another chance at life. Isn't that right? Sorry. Looks like my sins run too deep to fix. That's fine. It's a part of who you are, Rokuro. You're still a softie, aren't you? Well, that's just great. Huh? Most of the exorcists are wiped out, but the evil and chaos in people's hearts lives on. Gonna be tough going from here on out, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Even still. 
Humanity will never lose its hope, or its prayers for a better future. Well said! The Malachim have free will again. Some may even lend you their aid to help create this ideal future of yours. I will spread the word. This world is now under the protection of the Empyrean Lafayette. Um, would you mind not calling me that? I don't think it really fits who I am now. I guess you're right. That was Velvet's name for you. Okay, what should we call you then? Call me by the name Eleanor gave me. One who lives. That's what Lafayette means. Translated into the ancient language. beginning. <laughs> Mankind will go on fighting without end. For every laugh, there will be tears. This world is cruel and unforgiving. Hey, come on! Even the gods themselves don't know what the future will bring. Until then.